So our second topic is payment on invoice. So what I'm going to do is then now go ahead and again take a payment based on the balance of this invoice. So I'm going to load this in a different screen here. Again, taking on the role of an AR clerk now. So they have an invoice that has been partially paid and now the customer uh, calls and says, I'd like to give you my bank account information so that you can pull an ACH to um, pay the remaining portion of this invoice. So I'm going to hit pay. And then I'm going to tell it, okay, we're going to take an ACH this time. We're not going to use our card on file. We want to do an ACH payment. And the system knows that I do not have bank account information on file in Acumatica. So it's automatically telling me, okay, I need to enter some new information. Save that new payment record, and then we will hit capture. And when the new card selection is on, it will pull up this window so that you can enter that new information for the bank account. So we're gonna put in our customer, our routing number, and our account number and then select the type of account and that it's a business account and hit submit. So what this is doing is now creating another way for this customer to pay in Acumatica as well as running it through APS. So if we take, it a, take a look at a couple of tabs to see the information, so here's our invoice 9548 that we're making the additional payment on. And we can also see under the credit card processing information that we have that ACH um, information back from APS with a transaction number and an authorization number. So we have information here where we can also see this um, from the processing center. And if we take a look at our original invoice, we now have two payments to complete and close out the invoice. So as soon as the second payment was applied, it closed the invoice. And if I take a look at the payment applications, we have our initial prepayment that we did with the credit card and the second um, ACH payment to complete and close out the invoice. Okay, so we've seen prepayment on a sales order. Again, that can be done with credit card ACH. And then payment on invoice, very similar. And then everything came together at the end to go ahead and close out that invoice and finish it in the system.